Hello, Virgo. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 9th of October. Venus and Mars have been in your zodiac sign for some while, but of course they've been compromised recently by the cloying, draining, swirling mist that is Neptune. The great news this week is they're free of that now, and certainly this combination in your own sign is not going to dim your sex appeal, and you may surprise people by just how earthy and even how much you can take the lead and the initiative around romantic situations. Of course, the Sun and Mercury have been in the more practical parts of your late, of your situation of late, very much to do with how you feel about your own values, but also about money. Now, the Sun is compromised by Pluto in the first half of this week still, so hold back a little bit if you are wanting to make a great impact on someone you've encountered of late. Yes, you can certainly uh, charm them, and they can be absolutely smitten with the glamour you bring to their lives and the panache, but I wouldn't try too hard to spoil them in any kind of physical or financial way. Just let things develop at their own pace. However, it is possible that someone close to you, such as an offspring or someone you've known for a long time, can almost take your generosity for granted a little bit and you may need to put your foot down a little bit in the first half of this week. But then Jupiter, the planet of growth and expansion, which has been in a fabulous part of your situation, it's true, over the last year, well, he's set to relocate into the sign of Scorpio. Scorpio is, of course, about passion. It's also about uh, transition. It's about things ending and beginning. And I think the way that can come to pass in your situation can be around your ideas. Also, your immediate environment could change over this next year too. You might, might feel like a complete alteration of scene, especially if you get more stimulation in a mental context. But it could be that you're about to learn new ideas or share those of yours. And this can be very positive for you, even before this month comes to a close. There is a quarter moon towards the end of this week on Friday. This occurs in the sign of cancer. I think for you, this suggests that someone who up until now you've got on pretty well with could be a bit jarring or a bit out of, uh, a bit out of sync with you when it comes to their values and yours. Perhaps it's going to relate to a group friendship. This might not seem quite as neat uh, and as easy going as you would like. However, Saturday sees Venus make its way into the sign of Libra too. But this can be fabulous for you. And over the next 28 days, there could be some genuine ka moments in your situation. Yes, some finance can come to you positively. But also, you can enjoy the good things in life. Now, your sign is all about purity. But of course, occasionally, we all need to let our hair down and enjoy some calorific goodies or go out for a nice meal. And if you're someone who has been very self-disciplined of late, I think this particular change could nag away at you a little bit and just you'll have to see how resolute you can be. But it also, in a romantic context, can bring a more sensual dimension to any relationship that's been started of late especially with that Venus and Mars combination that's been so powerful of late in your own zodiac sign. Now you can convert the wonderful energy you've been exuding into something more grounded and perhaps lasting. So a very exciting set of developments on the whole for you. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now. Hello, thank you so much for watching my video. I'd love you to join me at my Horoscope Ace app. You can find this at www.horoscope-ace.com. You can use it through Android, iOS, Apple or Facebook. Check out your Ascendant or your Moon sign or download your free birth chart. There's all your favourite videos, plus there are daily, weekly, monthly and yearly horoscopes for general, love, Chinese and Indian astrology. 
If your passion is tarot, there's my brilliant three card money or love tarot readings too. And it's all there at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thank you.